like these ones. Yeah. You guys want to see? It's just me? like starting. Or did you find snoots? Yes. Oh, that's a that's the rat. So, that's the rat. Ew. I did not want us to be able to find these things. Abby has us wearing a rat. A rat is a foam thing that you roll your hair in, and it makes you look kind of like George Washington. <laughs> The ugliest thing ever. <laughs> when you saw how ugly those were, why would you purchase them? Okay. You go, you tell her you looked, and they didn't have them. Let's go show her. Jill needs to learn. You just tell Abby we don't know where they're at, we can't find them, and then you don't have to wear them. It's like, oh, if this is what Abby wants, if I get it, maybe I'll yeah. move up the pyramid. Exactly. Help her see. All the other moms yeah. complain and about it. And these two are like, do my hair. Are we at a junior high sleepover? Can you do my hair? <laughs> <laughs> I think Jill is really trying to make an effort to appear as a team player at this point because it's all she has. She wants to be a member of the team and her position is very precarious. So I think once she becomes a member of the team, the tides are gonna turn a little bit with Jill. Hey, what are you doing? Okay, let's just go again, let's go again. I'm gonna go in and give my kids their props and then... Oh, do you have the hat? Yes, and I'm just gonna say, they can run. They're them lining out. up, Cal. Maddie, no more stupid mistakes up there. What are you doing? Are they running fellows? Yeah. I'm gonna put these props in here. Kelly, if she's 13, Next time you let can come her up carry it herself. And she didn't know I brought a hat. What up? So you just how waste she more time. Hat. You want me to run the Well, circles. you're yelling at me for bringing them the stuff that they need. Do you want us to be right now hands-on moms? Because you just told me or her mom didn't love her. I want you to be gone, and I want to get the two 14-year-olds that came to the audition Go ahead. and put them in the dance. Throw me out! Yay. Throw me out! Go right ahead! Go. Kelly has absolutely no right to interrupt the classroom. Nobody pays that much money. No one. Is she drunk? What is going on? Don't come down here again. Who the hell is she to ask me if I'm drinking that, in front of a dance class? I think that's where a process That is not that the difference is correct. Do that. Whether I was drinking or not, it's none of her damn business. And to say it in front of my children that is ridiculous. Is Watch the Gleesa, turn it out! She wonders why my kids want to do other things. I mean, would you want to go to your extracurricular activity and do nothing but get yelled at? I mean, it's supposed to be fun. I was so frustrated. I feel like I should stick up for myself, but no matter what I do, she still keeps torturing me and torturing my kids. It's gonna be sad. I kind of feel like I'm between a rock and a hard place. I want my kids to stay there at the studio because they love it there, but I'm not doing my job as a mom by letting her treat them that way. I just can't take it anymore. I just don't know why I let my kids do this. I, I, I'm torturing my kids. 